in JDK9 and above, when you create a new program, it will be part of a module. If we don't specify the module details in the module info file, it will be classified as an unnamed module. With time, I will explain what the module info file means. For backward compatibility, when you program without a named model, your code automatically becomes part of the unnamed model. So imagine Java applications that use JDK 9 and above and are run using the class path. So in case you are using JDK 9 and above and never really used modules and you're wondering, my code doesn't use modules, so what module does it belong to? If you check the module, you will notice that it belongs to the unnamed module automatically. So this is to accommodate backward compatibility. But let's move ahead. To take advantage of modules, all you need to do is to create a file called modulinfo.java. Each module has its modulinfo.java file. In this file, you will specify which package you export and which other module your module requires. Now, the file can be empty. What I mean by that is you could decide not to export any package, but that means no other module can access any package in your module. Packages you export can be used by other modules, but packages you do not export cannot be used. For the Java base model, it contains a couple of packages, but only exports some. This means you cannot access those packages that were not exported. If you have the module info file and you need to use packages in another module, you will need to state that in this file. The only module that is automatically required is the java.base. And that is why even though this file is empty, I can still access things such as Java string and all the packages in the java.base model. Don't worry if this all seems a little bit still confusing. We still have more lessons and we will connect the dots as we go on. So just hang in there. It will all make sense very soon.